Hello, Pisces. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your financial abundance tarot and oracle card reading. We are going to get started right away with the Moonology Manifestation Oracle cards. And you may take notice here of this beautiful crystal grid set up to attract money, a magnet for money, abundance, financial prosperity. We are going past, present, future, and advice. Now we're adding in the fortune oracle here, and then we will consult the tarot. Appreciate you all watching the reading today. I love doing this one. Let's see what else you need to know about money. All right, the past you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, interesting energies together, and the Emperor. The present, we've got the Ten of Wands, the Magician, and the Tower, okay? So in the future, we have the Six of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So I do feel like you're going to get a gain. Anything you have... Um, in terms of contracts will be very solid, okay? Very honest communication. There's no bait and switch. In the advice, we have the star, the 10 of cups. Oops, I accidentally got two. The six of wands would have been there, but we're gonna add in this page of cups. I like it. So they stuck together, which is somewhat unusual. We have here Aquarius. We've got Aries. We have four major arcana. And we have, it appears, all the elements because we do have the magician, but either way, you would have it anyway. So in the past here, you have full moon in Libra. Find a balance with the card of the unicorn. I love this one. Success, hope, healing, freedom, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. So knowing that you have gifts inside of you, you have the answers to any financial question, issue, even problem right now. You're born with those gifts. It's just a matter of uncovering and developing them. So with this, I feel like somebody here, especially because the unicorn is rare, and it's a card that doesn't frequently come out, I feel like they're saying you're just on the precipice of change here, making a gain. Now, if it's also, too, something you're looking for, that's unique and rare, if it's a unicorn in terms of a housing situation, if you've had realtors say your list is just too difficult, I don't think we can get all of that, just you wait, you will show them, here it is. If it's a car and you say, I only want a manual transmission, I want a stick shift, and they say they don't even make those, it's not 1980 anymore, there you go, here's where you'll find it. So with this, you have here, that Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords combo. And so what I like about it, the Knight of Pentacles is your financial guardian angel. It's a plan A and a plan B. The Knight of Pentacles will not allow you to get caught with your pants down financially. The Knight of Pentacles really evaluates and looks at every single detail. You have no stone is left unturned. But what I love about it with the Knight of Swords is you'll plow forward, and so you'll be quick about it. You'll look, you'll turn over the stone. If it's not there, you'll keep it moving. So the Knight of Pentacles sometimes gets a bad rap for being stagnant and stuck, but that's not completely accurate. The Knight of Pentacles looks at his goal, sizes things up, and then goes charging forward. So I feel like you're going to do this in a way that's very stable, but it's also, too, with the Emperor not settling. The Emperor combines passion and discipline. So for some of you, I feel like if you're starting a business that's one of your passions, if you're starting a business with some sort of catering or some sort of artistic work, you're going to have the business sense to carry it through. I've mentioned this before. Some of the decks I use are from Radley Valentine, who's a great tarot reader. But he was an accountant. He started off as an accountant, and he talks about how a lot of people who start metaphysical businesses are lacking the business sense. There's a part of that that you need to know and understand. So if you're more of an artistic type, I feel like they're saying, make sure that you are doing the research and the checking you need from a business standpoint. So 
In the present, you have first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks with the energy of the chariot. Perfect. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. So when these two come in, once you're open and you've released any low vibrational negative thinking traps, you are going to move forward in an unstoppable way. So meditate, quiet the mo mind, get into those yogic poses, get yourself in the place where you're one with the universe, then it's time to move forward. So I feel like if something's been holding you back and blocking you, the tower comes in right at the right time, blocks released. That's what I'm getting this as. So that 10 of wands is a bit of pushing against. It's a challenging energy. It's an energy where you're just putting in so much effort. And I feel like with that 10 of wands, the tower comes in and says, somebody here has a lack of belief. There's something skeptical in the vibration. And so I feel like if there's something that you're skeptical about, it's your intuition telling you this is not the right path. This is not quite right. And so the universe tells us that with the tower, let go or be dragged. So if there's something that you keep trying to make work that hasn't gone through, it's time to pick a different venue is what I heard. So with the magician, you are a conduit for the universe. The magician helps you to know that you can have, do, or be anything. If you can see it in your mind, you can have it in your hands. So the magician will give you perfect timing. You'll become a great orator, any type of interview or any type of, type of conversation you need in terms of you know, speaking, presenting, all of that. It's the card of the entrepreneur. So you may find too that you uncover something, an untapped resource is what I hear. And you're gonna say, I don't know how I did that. Yes, you do. You did it. You did it with your energy and you did it as a child of this universe. So I feel like you have perfect timing and you're going to get a big win with that magician. Even if it's something like a housing situation with that unicorn where you have somebody who has a foreclosure, nothing to, we don't want to wish ill on anybody, but I feel like if you have this you really unique um, specifications for housing, I get somebody gets like a foreclosure or something unusual that meets your unique list. So in the future, you have an interesting combination. I love the card of full moon in Aries because that ram is just so cute. It's like the universe said, I'm putting you on a timeout for a minute. Cool your emotions. Let's get calm. Let's play some nice music. Let's get you back to center. You have the card of transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. You're at a turning point. You're in a place where you're going to accelerate and move forward. And so it may happen rather quickly. I feel like either way, it's going to happen in a very no-nonsense way with this King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords and the Emperor both use logic. So this is not an energy where you do things that just don't seem to make sense. Quite the opposite, where you really look at everything and say, this is what makes sense and this is what I'm doing. It's a very unyielding energy. So you may find that once you make up your mind, nobody can change your mind. They may say to you, I, you don't have the stubborn side usually. Well, it's because you know what you know and you know you're right. With the Eight of Pentacles, if you're trying to start, and the Six of Swords for that matter, if you're trying to start some sort of a new career or business, you're going to be raking in money. Those Pentacles are lining up, but you're gonna be busy. The Pentacles are not coming because he's sitting back doing nothing. They're coming because he's working. So I feel like as you move forward, you're going to feel like you have every single thing you need. Like it's just showing up almost. And with the energy of the Six of Swords, if things have been challenging, you've learned from it and you're moving forward into a much easier time. If it is a housing situation, if you're looking for something that perhaps needs some renovations, I do feel like you're going to find it. But if it's something too, with that Eight of Pentacles, whatever you put in your mind, you won't stop until you get there. And I do see you as getting there. So if it is a unique housing situation, I feel like you're right on the right path. So in the advice you have, first quarter moon in Gemini, speak your world into being with the card of patience. Slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. I feel like they keep hitting this drum. They keep beating this drum. 
of slowing down a little bit. Well, in the advice, you have a wonderful energy in terms of self-care, tranquility, having it all. Pardon me with the cards there. With the energy of the star, the ten of cups, the six of wands, and then, of course, the page of cups, you will be feeling blessed. This is an energy where with that star energy, know that you are on the right path. You're tapped into the limitless flow of the universe. And with the Ten of Cups, the rainbow after the storm, this is a rainbow that comes in after the tower. But with the Six of Wands, you're flying high. And that Page of Cups is going to have you feeling the love where you're going to be saying, so if you're not there yet, they're telling you this is how you get there. Get Have the feelings of having it now and you can't lose Good things are on the way. I love you, Pisces, and I'll be back again soon.